Hello, my name is Pete Holmberg and this is my walk away video. If I was to do a hashtag for myself and not the hashtag Brandon so brilliantly came up with, I would call it the walk back home movement for myself because I was a Republican from a very early age. I um, volunteered on George H.W. Bush's primary campaign in 1980. And then I registered as a Republican when I turned 18 in Chicago. And I remained a Republican until I moved to New York when I was 25 years old in 1992. And people told me when I moved here, if you want to be relevant, you've got to be a Democrat in this town. And I thought, well, if I wanted to stay irrelevant, I would have stayed in Chicago. So I registered as a Democrat. And that year I voted for Bill Clinton, my first Democratic president that I voted for. And I remained a Democrat, um, albeit a Democrat who voted for a lot of Republicans. I voted for Giuliani. I voted for Bloomberg. I voted for Governor Pataki. Um, I pretty much mixed it up, but I voted for all Democratic presidents through Secretary Clinton. And then on November 8th, 2016, I sat there and uh, I was in shock. I was in shock and I was worried. I had a lot of reason during the campaign, I felt, to be worried about Donald Trump. I thought he would get us into nuclear war. I thought he would get us into a recession. He has done neither. And uh, I'm very pleasantly shocked and surprised by President Trump as president and his performance. Um, but the night of November 8th, 2016, I did not know that I would be pleasantly surprised. Um, I was devastated that night and I thought, right, I just didn't understand how it could happen. And so I came home and after President Trump gave his acceptance speech, I, I did find myself feeling relieved because there had been a lot of speculation that the results would be contested, that the election would go on forever. I remember what 2000 was like with Bush and Gore. I did not want to relive that. And so I was relieved at least that the issue was settled. It was a very ugly campaign and I was glad it was over. And I was also, in all honesty, grateful to live in a country where at least one person had voted for the president. So I went onto Facebook about 3.20 in the morning and I effectively said, you are my president, President-elect Trump, congratulations on your hard won victory. You have my prayers and my support, God bless America. I meant that. I was truly grateful in that moment to be in a to live in a democratic country. And the blowback personally to me kind of offline was was nasty and it uh it kind of opened my eyes to the bigotry of the left and uh I started doing research. I started reading. I, I wanted to make sense of why he won because it didn't make sense to me the night it happened. And I talked to a lot of people, ended up talking to very smart, very compassionate Trump voters. And um, I was kind of reminded of why I had become a Republican in the first place. It's because I value absolutely freedom of the individual over you know, social engineering, frankly. And uh, I'm not a big fan of people sitting in the you know, centralization of power and remote power. I don't, I'm not a fan of that, never have been. But I'm gay, so when I became a Democrat, it felt natural to do in 92. And then when gay marriage really, when I was young, gay marriage was just like, it was like UFOs. I mean, people talked about two men getting married the same way you would talk about a UFO landing. It was the same level of probability. So when gay marriage really became a legitimate issue, when people started talking about marriage equality and when you know certain states like Massachusetts, and then there was talk of Hawaii at one point, I was not going to leave the Democratic Party when the Democratic Party was the only party, even though Obama and Hillary were against gay marriage in 2008, if you were for gay marriage, you had to be a Democrat. That's where it was happening. And that's ultimately who made it happen. Uh, there's talk that in New York State, a lot of Republicans just wanted the issue gone. And so they went to come on and said, Let, let's get this taken care of. And I believe that, but uh, let's give giving credit where credit is due. Marriage equality was a democratic issue, and the Democrats helped you know, propel that along. But that's one issue, and there are a lot of other issues that uh, factor in in today's world. 
and after the election of Donald Trump, trying to make sense of the election of Donald Trump, I really got back in touch with those issues and people explained things to me and I did a lot of reading. I did a lot of reading on my own and seeing where our country was going, the role that immigration was playing, how people were using immigration. And uh, I, I, I came to a lot of conclusions on my own. And uh, it wasn't so much a rejection of the Democratic Party, although I did see a lot of dysfunction there that I was never comfortable with. But I believe in individual liberty. I believe that all of us were just born with inherent rights. and we need to keep the government from infringing on those rights. Government doesn't give us rights, we're born with them. That's how I really truly believe that. And I also believe in diversity of thought. One of the reasons I was drawn back to the Republican Party, which I registered as Republican just over a year ago, is that you don't know in the Republican Party, you have to ask someone, are you pro-choice or are you pro-life? Because they're both people there. You've got to ask on all the issues. There's true diversity of thought. And to me, that's an incredibly interesting place to be, and it's the most natural place to be. There is no groupthink in the Republican Party. You don't, you, most likely, you can't assume that anyone's coming from any one place. And that's a great, that, that's a great place to be. It's interesting for me. So uh, for me, coming back to the Republican Party after the election of Donald Trump was certainly interesting. A lot of people are like, why now? But... Uh, seeing President Trump, what he's done, getting beyond the personality and the Twitter and all that stuff and to the actual results and the resolve, that has made a lot of sense to me. And I'm very proud to be a Republican. I'm very proud to be a Trump supporter. I did not think I'd be saying that ever. And one thing I definitely didn't think I'd be saying in the age of Trump is that I'm running for office. Uh, shortly after coming back to the Republican Party, I was recruited by the Manhattan GOP to run for state senate and here, in, here in Manhattan, in Trump's district, District 28. So I am the Republican candidate for New York State Senate. I'm also the Reform Party candidate, and we're on the Stop de Blasio line, and uh, hopefully the Independence line, and um, you know we'll make things happen. But uh, this has been a very interesting time for me, coming back to the Republican Party, walking away from the Democratic Party, and getting to a place where um, people can really tell the truth. The Republican Party is a big tent party. There are a lot of different opinions, and I love that. I feel very at home there, I always did. If I hadn't been, if I hadn't been gay, I probably would never have left the Republican Party, to be honest. Uh, and it doesn't thrill me that the Republicans were not open to gay people for a very long time. It doesn't thrill me, but I don't judge people by what happened 10 years ago. I don't judge my boyfriends by what they did 10 years ago. I'm not going to judge my political party by what they did 10 years ago. What's important now in any decision, whether it be a personal relationship or a political party, for me is what is happening now? What is happening today? And I see the Republican Party being the party that's really protecting the American people and the future of the American people and the freedom of the American people to say whatever the heck they want. The party of the First Amendment is the Republican Party, in my opinion, these days. And freedom of speech is everything to me. It's the most important thing. So I'm Pete Holmberg. I'm a walkaway candidate. I'm the Republican candidate for New York State Senate in District 28. And um, I am proud to have walked away and walked home to the Republican Party. Thank you.